Hello, Bow Hunt School team again. Sorry, uh, I forgot to add the um, swing plane video. So just a point of reference again. This is Danny Lee, same shoulder position. This is a fairway wood, so slightly different, but he still wants to flight the ball. Uh, I'll attach the swing plane video to this as well. Thank you. Right, here's uh, a video about swing plane. So this line here represents the swing plane at a dress. Now, this orange stick, which I'm going to cover in yellow, is a visual reference to the swing plane which I'm standing to at the moment. So it's just a reference point for you. So nothing sinister there. So if I start the swing, swing plane at some point should more or less match the plane at address. So if I now look at it at the halfway point, you can see it's more or less parallel to that starting point. So this line here is parallel to that line here and this I just put in as a visual reference is parallel again. Now after that I think this will more or less stay on the same line. It has to go a little bit higher but it's a, a point of reference. So let's play that into a normal position. So again it's just finding those lines. Now, what about a bad swing plane? Well, a bad swing plane is when the club starts to go up very high and actually doesn't find that swing plane. And at the halfway point, it's very steep. So now, there has to be a lot of self-correction to get back to this line again, here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit simpler, but the busy screen there so this is the point of reference and this is the point of reference that we want here more or less but as we go into the back swing we can see the shaft plane is too steep so that now makes the downswing too steep and what holds the amateur back in the, the driving uh, stats is the angle of attack is often too steep. Now if we make the swing the opposite, if we make it very very shallow, it still will find a steep position because it will, will come then up and then down across the ball because it started around the body and then it goes steep into the downswing. I've never met, well that's a bit flippant, but most amateurs, 99.9% .9 of them struggle with the driver because they're too steep at impact, rather than being too shallow through impact. Now, there's the good position. Now if we watch, I think I go to hit this one, so if we watch this, so again, I've more or less found the plane to position at that halfway point. It's a little bit underneath it, to be fair, but it doesn't have to be exact. It's got to more or less find it. I'm a little bit high there for my liking, but come from the inside and hit the ball. But it doesn't have to be exact. So to clarify the room of error, The blue line really is the width of error that people can have and play reasonable golf. You're not a machine, it's a myth to be perfect, but there's a room of error there based on the perfect golf swing which allows you to find the back of the ball repeatedly. So I hope that's helped. Uh, please, if you have any questions when you watch this video, please email or phone me. Thank you.